When was the last time you did something challenging, new or exciting? Following a recent training course I ran in Islamabad, Pakistan, yes, Pakistan, I went for two treks in the mountains in the middle of winter. I was seriously questioning my sanity as the temperatures dropped as low as minus 20 Celsius, that's minus four Fahrenheit for my American friends, as we camped out in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. And here are some things I learned from the experience. Number one, you can do a lot more than you think. We are often our own worst enemy, aren't we? Beating ourselves up for our failures and shortcomings and telling ourselves what we can't do instead of encouraging ourselves to do more and congratulating ourselves for our successes. Now, I don't like the cold and I wasn't sure how I was gonna go, but I really wanted to challenge myself and I also really wanted to see the beautiful mountains. So I booked myself on not one, but two winter treks and off I went. And guess what? I survived. Yes, it was bloody cold. <laughs> yes, there were times when I wanted to give up and go home, but I fully completed each trek and I had some absolutely amazing experiences and proved to myself that I could do more than I thought was possible. Number two, you're not as important as you think. Sometimes we feel like our organizations won't be able to function without us, but guess what? They can, <laughs> and they should. Let the people around you grow by taking a step back and allowing them to take more responsibility. Your team can also do a lot more than you think. Number three, it's good to disconnect. Being in wilderness areas often forces you to disconnect from the world. But is it really essential to be up to date on everything all the time? Just disconnect for a while. Enjoy the rhythm of nature and create some space to think and reflect. And it's amazing the ideas, the creativity and the perspectives that this brings. Number four. The greatest joy comes after the greatest struggle. Both my treks were hard, really hard. There was extreme cold, there's headaches and sleeping difficulties and tiredness from the altitude and the huge physical effort that was required each day to haul myself and my pack up and down the mountains through deep snow, sometimes waist deep, sticky mud and stinky manure. Yet you just had to keep going and not give up and eventually all these things just made it so much more rewarding when we finally made it to the goal for each trek. And I felt like I just conquered Everest, which actually wasn't too far down the road. Number five, don't judge a country by the media. In most people's minds, Pakistan is associated with terrorism. And while it's true that visiting this part of the world does have a higher risk than visiting some other parts, sure, the people that I met couldn't have been more friendly and the hospitality they showed me was absolutely amazing, far superior to anything I've experienced in a Western country. As is often the way, those with the least are usually the most generous. But you don't need to travel to a foreign country to create opportunities to challenge yourself, however. You can do new things every day, right where you are. Why not be like Picasso who said, I am always doing things I can't do. That's how I get to do them. Because that's how we learn. That's how we grow. And that's how we discover. Enjoy your journey.